Um, I'm going to take you along on this menu, or on this recipe, and this is what is for dinner actually tomorrow night. I'm trying to get ahead. Uh, so I think you'll like this. Definitely check out Living on a Dime, and uh, they have a website and a YouTube page. So keep watching everybody, and I'll show you this this recipe. Okay guys, I'm going to cut uh, this in half, and I have new knives. I'm just going to grab one of these. I have a small kitchen, so I never know where to put new stuff. But I'm just going to cut into this, and like I said, I only want half of it. This was on sale at Kroger, which I love sales. I try not to buy meat that is not on sale. And I'm going to put this, you know I wasn't prepared, as well as what I should have. I don't want that raw meat to be sitting on another part of my counter, so cover it up. Okay, I'm going to put this in here. Uh, like I said, I, I tried very hard not to buy meat that is not on sale. The best way to save is to buy it on sale, so that's what I do. My husband loves hamburgers. He loves pizza, so I think he's going to really enjoy this meal. Uh, just a little bit of salt and pepper it needs, and just a salt and pepper, okay? And I did put in half the amount of meat that this recipe calls for, but I'm still going to use two eggs because I do want it to be a good binder, and eggs are a good binder. So I'm going to crack it in there, being careful not to drop eggshells in there. And yeah, I could do this into a separate bowl, but I chose not to. Um, First lesson, brand new knives, very sharp. Do not put them in your sink water. Yeah, just a little bit of a cut there, guys. All right, well. Okay, well, video will have to wait because I need to take care of that and I can't put my hands in there with a cut on my finger. Those are really sharp knives. Guys, I'm back. <laughs> Put a band-aid on my finger. It's not very bad, so I'm not concerned about it. Uh, I will, however, use a band-aid, and I do have food gloves. I don't wear these very often, but I have them when I do need them. So because of that cut, I am going to put these on. Okay, I'm going to mix all of this up. I'm going to get this worked in really well, and then I'm going to put some salt and pepper and garlic in here very hard to mix with gloves on. I might take this one off and just leave this one on. You just want to mix those eggs in really well. Like I said, they are a binder. So mix those in. My gloves kind of falling off. I don't like to wear these very often. I do wear these all the time when I do uh, hot peppers. If I am cooking with hot peppers, which I do grow in my garden, the seeds on the inside of the pepper burn my hands. So I do wear gloves when I use those. But not very often when I'm doing the meat. I'm taking that glove off. I'm going to put some pepper in here, and I'm not measuring. I'm just going to put in a bunch of pepper. This is probably about a teaspoon of pepper, and I'll probably do maybe a fourth of salt. I like salt a lot more than other people, so I try not to salt things very much. Garlic, we do love, so let's do maybe two teaspoons of garlic, and then I'll mix it. Okay, now this here calls for it to be rolled out. It's like um, a pumpkin roll. If you've ever made a pumpkin roll, that's what this meal is all about. I will be putting ham in it and cheese and topping it with some sauce. Okay, it smells delicious. I think that is good mixed. I'm going to end up going through more than one set of gloves, too. So, I'm going to take this one off, and I'm going to, I'm going to get my counter set up with my 
wrap and I'll bring you back to show you guys. The next step is to uh, kind of roll out your hamburger onto wax paper or you can use parchment. You can use uh, foil. But you want to roll it out. It says, uh, let's see, does it say how thin? Uh, 12 by 10 rectangle. That's with three pounds. So, and it's not rectangular. I know. I'm going to get this as best I can. And it's not going to be perfect, but it is going to be delicious. So I'll pat this out. And by keeping my other hand clean of the meat, I can do other things. I can grab my garlic if I want more garlic in it or whatever. So that, that does help. I want it to be thin. This is going to be like a meatloaf. But it's going to be rolled with wonderful things inside. And while I was off camera, I checked my, my finger. It's doing fine. But I wanted to kind of mention when I was a kid, I learned not to put knives into the sink. As an adult, we get a little bit more lazy. And guys, I these are new knives, and they are very sharp, and I haven't had sharp knives like that in a long time. But take that as an example of what not to do. I know two young ladies who will be watching this video, and Abby, that might be a part of why Mom doesn't want you to cook all the time when she's not around or her dad. You know, you never know. Even experienced cooks make mistakes. So guys, take that as a lesson. Um, okay, I think this is thin enough. It is going to end up cooking, I think, for an hour and a half. Yeah, pretty much an hour and a half. So I don't want it too thin because I am going to be rolling it. Now, what I'm going to do is spread it with ham, cheese, and I'm going to put onion in it because we do like onion. The recipe calls for six thinly sliced pieces of ham. Well, you saw the ham that I had, and I ground up a little bit of it, and then some of it I cut. So I'm just going to put that in here. I think this would also be good with bacon. We love bacon, don't we? Everybody loves bacon some bigger strips over here, or chunks, I guess these are chunks, but I don't want it too fat, and that's why the recipe calls for those thin slices. So, just kind of get that around. Now I am going to put a little more over that. There, I think that's good. You want to have it, <clears throat> excuse me, you want to have enough space when you roll it that it's going to it's going to seal up. I'm going to take that piece out cuz there's a little bit of fat on there. I'm going to cut that off. There. Better. Uh, let me grab my cheese. And I'm doing everything one-handed because I still have my glove on. Although this cheese we're going to use up the whole thing. The recipe calls for 2 cups of mozzarella shredded. I do not have 2 cups of mozzarella. I have uh, maybe a third of a cup, but again, that recipe is for three pounds instead of a pound and a half. So I'll put on all of this mozz, which I think is almost a cup. Put that on there. And I do have another cheese from the Mexican style blend, but I think this is going to be plenty. I love these recipes because you can change them up. A lot of recipes you can change and make your own. When you're baking, it gets a little bit more difficult. You really can't change up things when you're baking. Okay, now I need to roll this with ham and cheese. And I'm reading my recipe, and we're going to roll it like a jelly roll. It's going to get a little difficult with this nasty glove on now. I might have to change my glove. Rolling it like a jelly roll. I have never made 
a pumpkin jelly roll before, but I've seen it done. So I'm just going to very gently and carefully, and what you want to do is just pull up the meat as you're going, and if you need to, take up your, your wax paper or tin foil, whatever you're using, and kind of flip it over. Okay, I hope my hands aren't really in the way. I think I'm going to take the glove off, I'm going to change the position of the camera, and I'll bring you right back. And then, I forgot to put in the onion. So, part of this is going to have onion, and part of it is not. That's okay, though. Put just a little bit of onion on there, and that is going to taste delicious. I should have thought, ahead of time, I would have also put on peppers. I do have peppers in my freezer. Uh, what you want to do is just roll it. And again, guys, if you don't like to touch raw meat, you can wear gloves. There's nothing wrong with that. My gloves are a little bit too big for me. Kind of a pain in the neck. But you just want to roll it. I think this is going to be delicious. I did send this recipe to Abby and Ella. And Mom said... Whoever makes it first, tell each other how it comes out. So, I think I'm the first one. Okay, now, put that onion right there. I'm going to put this onto my pan. I didn't grease my pan. Uh, it says place the seam on a greased pan. So, let me grab out where I put my olive oil. I've been, oh, it's right here. I have a pan. I'm going to grease and bring you guys back. That does look nasty, I know. I'll bring you guys. I put a little bit of oil on here. I think I'm going to probably need more, though. I am. I have um, a pizza sauce that I actually I bought the pizza sauce. It's a, a store bought, store brand. Usually I will make my own. I didn't pull any out of the freezer. So, and the bags that I have in the freezer are pretty big. They're more of a for a big meal. So, I'm going to bring this meat over. Ooh, trying not to. Since it's kind of coming apart right here. Seam side down. The seam is right there. is a little bit difficult to do and as you can see it is opening up on me. I might have had some parts of it too thin but look here's some hamburger. Let's just patch it. It's only us eating so nobody's gonna care what it looks like. We're gonna chow into it, right? It looks like a big slug. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I'm making a menu from Living on a Dime. And Tara, she's always, I don't know, bumping into something or something spills. Tara, I think I have your, your disease. The Tara disease. LOL. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you got to definitely check them out. Tara makes soap and um, great meals. Really good group. Okay, I am going to put that in the oven. I see another little spot over here that's kind of open. Maybe I'll grab a little bit more meat, put it over here. This really does smell good. And when I, when I serve it, I'll be cutting it up into, into slices. It's going to be like a, a meatloaf, like a hamburger type thing. Okay, I will bring you back when it's done. And like I said, it, my oven is on 350 right now. I'm going to cook it for uh, an hour, an hour and 15 minutes until the meat is thoroughly cooked. All right, so there I go for getting things again. Let's put the sauce on it. If I can open it. There we go. Okay. Okay. Let's drizzle that right on. 
I wasn't sure what type of pan to put this in. I think this pan will work pretty good. I'm going to grab out this here. I'm just kind of spread it around. Whatever I don't use for sauce, I will save and we'll have it with the meal when I eat it tomorrow. And we're not going to eat it until tomorrow. However, we'll show you what it looks like and I'll taste a little piece today. There. It has been an hour and 15 minutes. I'm going to take this out and let's look at it. Oh boy. That shriveled up quite a bit, didn't it? Can you see? It still looks really kind of gross too, doesn't it? <laughs> Not bad though. I'm sure it's going to taste delicious. Into it. I want to cut into it just to see if it's done. Um, yeah, all that is just, I don't know why burger does that, it makes that nasty thing. But I'm going to cut into it. Yeah, I think that's done. Because I can't cut into it with my spatula. I'll grab a knife and just get into it. the ham. Okay, if that was, if that pink was beef, I'd put it back in. No, that's, that's done. And remember this was uh, a pound and a half. It wasn't the full amount. That is definitely done though. That is going to be a delicious meal. I'm going to let it cool, and then I'll bring you back to try a piece. Okay guys, I'm ready to taste test my pizza roll. The official name is Pinwheel Pizza Loaf. You can possibly find it on livingonadime.com. They have a blog and they put up all kinds of different recipes. You don't necessarily have to buy their book and that's one thing I really love about them. They're willing to help us be frugal. So definitely check them out. Many, many more recipes also on there. Uh, but this here, I mean, it even just looks pretty. You can see the onion and the ham, there's a little bit of melted cheese in there. And like I said, this is for tomorrow's meal. When I make it tomorrow, I will put on a little bit more sauce. I'll put some cheese on there and then I'll bake it for about 15, 20 more minutes and just melt the cheese. But I thought I would try it with a little bit of the sauce. And I'll just use this. It smells delicious. There's a piece of ham in there. That's a big bite for YouTube. Let me get it smaller. Okay. Mm. It was really good. I love the cheese and the ham mixed in with that hamburger. I think that is really good. It's not super easy to roll that, that raw hamburg, but it really does come out good. And I'm going to use this recipe more often. I'll use, um, instead of using ham, I'll use bacon. Uh, I also thought Canadian bacon. It's like a ham but a different taste and it's good. Put some uh, regular cheese in there, regular American cheese. You can do all kinds of things with this recipe. Guys, thanks for watching my video and definitely check out Tara and Mike at livingonadime.com and um, give them a comment and subscribe to them as well and let them know that Cat Lover sent you. Thanks.